Hello everybody, this is Brandon Benjamin here again, getting ready to do another FX lightsaber review. Uh, today uh, I want to do something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be doing uh, the same lightsabers that I had before. Uh, I just want to do another video on those. Um, I'm sorry about my quality on my webcam. Um, I'm getting a webcam, uh, another brand new webcam very soon with HD. So y'all guys can watch uh, this in a uh, much more clear, crisp version. Um, today we're going to be going over my Anakin Skywalker uh, Revenge of the Sith FX lightsaber. As you can tell, this is a very nice lightsaber from um, Master Replicas. Master Replicas made this lightsaber. Uh, this is a 2005 version. This is the Anakin Skywalker FX lightsaber. Uh, as any other lightsaber, it has the pommel or the or handle. And it also has a belt clip on the other side. I don't know if y'all guys can see that, but I'll zoom in for you. There it is right there. And then you have, like, your mid-pommel is what I like to call it. And then you have your activation switch, which is the little auxiliary button right here. And then you have the little main switch right here, which is just display. I think it has some very cool designs. As you can tell, my lightsaber is very shiny. Um, I really don't use no wax or anything for it. Uh, if you really want to clean off your lightsaber um, with anything, I mean, AutoZone, um, like Mr. Flavor Flav said, uh, AutoZone does have some, uh, like, polish you can use to polish your lightsabers with. Um, if not, you can use, um, like, a little cleaning cloth. If you have, like, a PSP or something that comes with a cleaning cloth or a laptop with a nice little cleaning cloth, uh, you can use that also to clean off your lightsaber. Uh... Let's go some more into the details. You also have your, these are like, uh, I don't really know, but like bunny ears. You can say like little bunny ears. And you have this little display button right here in the back. You have display button right here in the front, which is also gold. Um, and this right here is your blade emitter. Okay. And the lightsaber is made out of metal and chrome. Uh, it has some plastic. A little bit. The uh, handles, the your pommel is uh, made out of uh, rubber, and you also have the polycarbonate blade, which is very durable. Like I said, these lightsabers are collectibles. Um, if you want to duel with them, you can. These blades will definitely hold up. Um, or if you just want to collect them, you can. Uh, is not really a toy. It's more of a collectible, though. Just to let y'all guys know. Um, you can also get a uh, a lightsaber bag. Um, they sell them on eBay. Uh, there's like these little bags you can actually like put your uh, lightsaber in. That like, you can carry them around with you wherever you want. Um, but anyway, this is my 2005 Anakin Skywalker FX lightsaber. Very nice. One of my favorite lightsabers. Um, this was my second lightsaber I bought. A while back, I had it for a couple of years now. As you can tell, it's still in pretty good shape. Except, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, but the button is just faded out a little bit. It still looks gold, but it's, it's faded out just a little bit. And the back is of this little display button has just a, a little stretch on it. But other than that, it's still pretty good. It's still in good quality. still has all this color. Um... Um, I'm very, very proud of this lightsaber and what Master Replicas did with it. Um, these lightsabers look very, very real. If you want to get a lightsaber that is, uh, well, if you ever really wanted a lightsaber, this is the closest you ever going to get to a lightsaber, um, lightsaber, especially with the Master Replicas version, because Master Replicas and the Hasbro version, uh, Master Replicas is a little bit more, uh, the material and the stuff that they use is a little bit more uh, heavier. And it makes the lightsaber feel more heavier, makes it feel like it's an actual Jedi's weapon. And it also uh, has that realistic look to it because it's a lot shinier and brighter, the metal and stuff, the chrome and everything that they used. It makes it really, really looks more realistic. Anyway, um, I'm going to turn off the lights for you real quick and let y'all guys see it at night or in the dark. And I'll show you guys how it sounds and everything. So, here we go. Alrighty, this is my Anakin Skywalker 2005 FX lightsaber. As you can tell, this lightsaber is very, very nice. It has a famous blue Anakin Skywalker color. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's very loud. It has all the, uh, it has the idle hum when you wave it around. As you can tell. And it also has the battle clashes. Very, very nice. Uh, the react uh, is this. This one is uh, a little bit uh, more harder. You have to hit this one a little bit harder just to get the noises out of because they really attach this polycarbonate blade pretty, uh, pretty sturdy to the hilt. They uh, attached it very, very tightly to the hilt, and um, I think that's pretty much of a good thing. But still, it could be a little bit more sensitive. But like I say, it's a real fine lightsaber. This is how it looks when you power it down. This is how it looks when you power it up. Looks very nice. I'll stand back some more so y'all guys can see. Power down. Power up. Very nice lightsaber. This is Anakin Skywalker's 2005 FX lightsaber. It's one of my favorite lightsabers of all time. Uh, if you're definitely going to get this lightsaber, I suggest you get Obi-Wan Kenobi's Master Replica uh, FX lightsaber to go around with this. Then that way you'll have the Battle of the Heroes uh, lightsabers and you can uh, display them, collect them, or uh, duel with them if you want. Um, great collectibles. Um, and that concludes my Anakin Skywalker FX lightsaber. Oh, I will get y'all guys another close-up so y'all guys can see how it looks again. Like I said, you have the pommel with your belt clip. And then you have like your mid pommel with your activation switch and some cool designs on it. And it's a real shiny. You also have your front display buttons. And like I said, these little things right here, like I said, I don't know if y'all can see them, but I guess that's how if a Jedi wanted to ever charge his, his or hers uh, lightsaber, I guess you can just plug them in right there and they'll charge the uh, if y'all guys didn't know, the, uh, the lightsabers have a titanium power cell. It's something that I learned off the internet. The lightsabers have a titanium power cell and the crystals and everything is that. But um, if you look on Anakin Skywalker's belt or Obi-Wan's belt, you'll see like, these little like battery things. Those are the titanium uh, um, battery slots or cells that they use to put into their lightsabers to give it energy. And I guess that's how they uh, also charge their lightsabers. But... Um, you also have your emitter right here, and then you have the little bunny ears and another little display button in the back. If you have any questions about this lightsaber at all, if I made any errors in this video, uh, please let me know. Um, if you have any questions for me, uh, please ask me. I will do my best to answer all questions for you. Um, Flavor Flav, Sabian Black, uh, like I said, uh, I admire you guys. I really do with the work that y'all guys do with the uh, lightsabers and I just want to say thank you so much uh, you guys really inspired me into doing these um, reviews on FX lightsabers or any collectible that I have so I thank you very much and this is Brandon Benjamin I'm signing off